All right, now it's on. All right, so today I'm going to try to figure out how to gamify uh, base forms because there's a lot in Japanese that kind of assumes you know this stuff. And the, the game, my Japanese coach, did not provide any system of really practicing this. And they just kind of assumed you'll know it on your own, basically. <laughs> so I need to figure out an idea to turn this into something I can practice. So first, in my workshopping stage, I'm going to put them on white note cards as I try to figure out what it is I'm doing. But I'm al already kind of picturing I need uh, multicolored note cards for the final product. Because, yeah, if I do everything on white note cards and just assume it's going to stay that way, I'm going to lose track of which cards are what. So if I say, okay, the orange cards are A, the green cards are B, the pink cards are C, I never have to worry about which cards belong with which set or whatever. So... Yeah, that's just going to be where we are, and I'm just going to uh, have to figure this out on my own. So I'm just going to set those aside for now. Uh, luckily, I have been turning... Um, I'm not going to definitely say I have everything that was in the game translated into this, uh, or written out in here. Because there's probably important information that I glossed over, didn't think was important, whatever. But I'm going to do as much as I can. All right, so yeah, the final product is going to definitely be permanent. Um, still trying to figure out if I want to workshop in pencil or pen. I have enough note cards where I can workshop in pencil. <laughs> uh, work workshopping in pen, probably not the best idea. So, how many lines is each card? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So even if I do two lines each. Now that's not quite going to work out. So if I do them here to just kind of go base number. Base. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, Ichidan Ichidan cards and you are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's nothing, nothing, ru, re. That is not, that is not re. Can't even write in English. Re. That is barely an e. All right. Base five turns into yo. Really? Sure. 
Yo. Base. Why did I put six and seven? They're Tay and Ta. All right. So base Tay and Ta. We're just going to do Tay Ta. So that's Ichidon. So I need to do them all. What if I... Because I'm just thinking, if I have the word... Taberu on the other card, I would want to do... Blank... Two through re yo te and ta and then based on whatever form it is I can put the card over what needs to change depending on the base form. So I'm just need to need to foresight what it is I want to do with this. And I am realizing I have nowhere to put a tea bag. So I will be right back for that. Um I want to do this. All right. One moment. Okay, slight disappearance. So yeah, it's a good thing I'm not automatically jumping straight to my uh, multicolored set of index cards. Otherwise, I would have already wasted one. So... I could mark... So base form. One, two, three, four, five, te, ta. And this is Ichidan. And on the other side, Ichidan, and with Eru or Iru. Uh, I could also have examples, so taberu. Okay, so as I figure out more of these, figure out which ones are applicable, I would have the answer guide on the back of the card, figure out which way I want to have up. Because 
How do I want to turn this right side up? That's a weird one. That's a question I've never even considered. How do I flip this card right side up? Hmm. Might not matter that much. Okay. Yeah, and as I figure out which things go on the other side of this card, just fill them in here. That way, when I'm checking which card I want to use it with, I can say, okay, did I get the right word or does this word match these forms? Okay. So all of the cards that are not good, I will throw on the floor. The cards that are good can stay on the table. Sorry, just realizing I never put my watch on its charger. All right. So this is already going to be two different sets of cards. One's going to be the word cards. And I guess on the back. On the back, I would also have this information here. I just say, all right, does this match? And I could go through either one to be like, okay, these are the words that match with this. Uh, on this side, I would just write Ichidan. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ta. Huh. And then this was Tabe, Tabe, Taberu, Taber, Tabere, Tabeyo, Tabete. And tabeta. So, so I can write which base form the word is in, what that form looks like, and when it is used. Okay. Romaji. Kana. No, that's just writing it in Romaji again. Taberu. Tabere. Mm. yo. Tabete. Tabeta. And then use. I think that's a good set of information. So yeah, I would be checking it multiple times, multiple ways of checking. So it's like, okay, first, uh, the answer to do I use Ichidan is on the back here. Like, okay, 
uh, it ends with eru so it's an ichidan eru and iru so <sighs> trying to figure out how to develop a game <laughs> This is going to be complicated. I think I will need different piles for cards. So I know I'm definitely going to need three colors. Because one's going to be the word cards. So this side I will write in Sharpie. So it would be, and then this side would be so I can still do like, okay, it. We're replacing what are we replacing how are we doing it okay that's not bad and would i be able to write that in a sharpie i could just write base um do I want to indicate this is Ichidan? I want to indicate is Ichidan on the front of the card. Would that really matter? Yeah, because some of these do end in Ru. So Eru Iru. They don't give me a Ru example here. Okay, just to recap. What? Oh, this is... This was their little guide. Because the hardest parts was Te and Ta. So if you got these endings in godan you go to these forms in te and ta and this was specifically for godan okay Hmm. Do I want to indicate that this means to eat? I put it here and Taberu to eat. Right? To eat or just eat? I got a list of, what was this, 20? This was a pretty long list. Hmm. Okay. So part of this exercise is to identify Taberu, that is to eat, it is Ichidan, that information's on the back, that information will be written in pen, and hopefully I don't mess up when writing in pen. Huh. <sighs> Would this side be better? 
if I wrote this site on Kana, Okay, which means I would need to write the card. This one also in Kana, which isn't bad. It would just be more things to do. Uh, hopefully, so I would only need five of these cards. That's not bad. I could do these cards using the white ones. So I would only need two different colors of the colored cards because I need less of these. Whereas I need a lot of word cards. Okay. So yeah, still workshopping the idea. Well, the whole thing here is workshopping an idea. Okay, so how do I want to format these cards, though? I want to do... Mm. I'm just say it's Ichi done here. A base base te and ta, so it's nothing, nothing through. Um, and that is who a yo te and ta. So I would have this card. Because knowing it's Ichidan really doesn't matter. I mean, it's important for practice anyway. So then I'd be like, okay. So when I want to use it for what's a use. Uh, irregulars. Come on, where's the lesson where I need to conjugate? Mm hmm. Ah, uh, okay. So commands. Let's just leave that here. So commands. All right, since I'm still workshopping these cards, let's go back to here. Um, No, okay. So I wouldn't have these on the back here. I should have bought a pen an eraser while I was out. Okay. So base one. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
5k ta because I don't need to have that information on here twice but so command commands command and ichidan uses two and three hmm do not commands mm. use one and three am I gonna have enough space in that Uh, yeah, am I going to have enough space to do all of the different reasons for conjugation in here? It's kanji one. Okay. Connecting sentences. I see nothing about bases here. Desires. Desires. It is definitely putting them into a base form, but I don't see which one. Because... Odori I need to get into the game to find out lesson 46 ah. Lesson 46, is there a rule? Because I want to work out... Shita... Undo shita... Yes, there's definitely information I forgot to write down. Alright. Lesson 46... Base two. So desire is base two. Okay. I mean, I could have figured that out, but because that was sta. Change to base two. Okay, that was more kanji to do. Why am I not writing down what basis things need to be in? Okay, 
to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this isn't any sort of... Uh-huh. So this isn't... The, this is nouns to verbs does not involve base forms. Okay. Uh, needs... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not adjective. Base one, okay. Needs. Ned. Need is in base one. Hmm. Okay. Base one. All right. Can do. All right, so can do, can do is base three. Mm. All right. Mm. Yeah, so I wouldn't be able to fit them all in here like that. All right, let's start this card over. Ichidan. Ends with Iru. Or Iru. All right. So let's go back. So ta, ta, five, four, three, two, one. And let's do this sideways. Base command. Negative command. Desire. Need. Can. Do. And now I can mark where these things are. So negative commands, desires, needs, can do. Oh gosh, so many forms from so many different things. All right. Oh, it actually says right here, use base three. Hmm. Why did I mark base two? <laughs> Looking right at it and I said the wrong thing. So you're on base three. Oh gosh. I wonder if they make like a fine, an ultra fine tip pen. As this pencil is 
All right. So that uses base three. Hmm. Verb to now. Hmm. What are you about? Oh, irregular. Oh, no. What? I can. So this is I can. All right. So I need to add this in here. I can dot dot dot. I can do. So you can do and I can do you separate table. I can do. So for I can do in each you done use base two. Okay, that's a kanji lesson three. Another kanji lesson. Protein. Condition. I don't think there was any base form transitioning here. But quoting, I think, does. Just looking at it. Ashiwa kare asui asuyoi Yeah, strong was covered previously. Asui Okay, let's go to quoting. Hmm. All right. Okay, see, there's no... I mean, this conjugation probably has to do... with one of these other ones. Okay. And then when I go back to do the other cards... I can... reference back into this. Mm-hmm. 
Now the exposure on that is really bright. Why is that so bright? I'll deal with that another time. <laughs> now, wow. No, let's go <laughs> take care of that. I wasn't really noticing what was going on with my face. Hmm. Um, hmm. Okay, well, that definitely helped. Um, uh, yeah see here it's still super bright but not nearly as blinding okay it's like well not sure what's going on with all this but okay that's better. Get you out of the way there. Okay. Oh gosh, now it feels dark in here. All right, well, I'd rather that. Okay. May I use this base Tay? So may I use a base hey And now we are getting basically where I was earlier. Should or should not use his base. No, should use his base ta, should not use his base one. Okay. Should use his base ta, should not. Should not use his base one. And that is where I am now. Okay. So these are all the different reasons to conjugate. So I want to have all of these on their own card as well as Godan, no, Ichidan, Godan. So for example, I would have this card be Command. Command. So on the other side, I would have Ichidan, Godan, and whatever you're adding. So if I go back to commands, that's directions. Oh. Ah, 
commands uh, for Godon. Oh, a section for irregular. Okay. I can spare the card. All right, so commands. Hold on. Irregular. And additional. So. So for Ichidan, you use two and you put row on the end. So base one, two. Base two plus row. Hmm, that looks a lot like three. <laughs> Base two plus row go on use base four or do I want to space them out like that? Hmm, might not be worthwhile to do all that work, and I just lost my lead. So definitely need to go to like Daiso and buy an eraser. Alright. Base two. Base four. Just base four. Irregulars. Sudo becomes Shido. Shiro, Kuru, becomes Koi, and Iku, becomes Ike. And we're not adding anything. Okay. And then on the other side, it's just so it would be like just using the example of the cards I've already gotten. Uh, where is So, got Haberu. All right. So, I would have my Ichidan card. Okay. So, no. First, it would be Haberu. I want to use the command form. And it would be like, okay. First, I need to recognize Eru making it Ichidan. So not just ru, but eru, because if it doesn't end with an e or e, it becomes a godon. And if I wanted to say, okay, we're doing commands, commands, I would have to know I'm using uh, base two or three, what? 
Oh no, not two or three. That's two and row. That's okay. That clears something up. So I would understand. Okay, so if I'm doing a command form, I would want to line it up with base two. Or when I do redo these cards, I would go like that. So that's a command form, base two. And when I flip this card over, it's base two plus row. So I know it would be tabe row. Tabe row is commanding somebody to eat. Okay. And this card still has room to add more to it. Okay. I mean, it's easy enough to just say to go ahead and do it. But I think workshopping the idea. I mean, I did go through a number of cards to try to come up with the idea where I am now. So, um, now that I have the idea worked out, I can mark which pages in here have base forms. You know, I'll just dog ear the pages for that. So commands. All right, so let's go dog ear all the important pages. So first it's going to be the verb bases. Um, ah, there's that commands and negative forms of commands. All right, uh, desires. Okay. Desires. There's also something about turning nouns into verbs. That will need to be a different section. Conjugation. Desires. And needs. Ah. Uh. No, not to do. To do is just those words by themselves, no conjugation. Needs. Can do verbs. Uh, this also goes into I can do. So these are the I cans. May I. Hmm. Ah, may I? Should and should not. All right. So next time, uh, now that I'm not trying to, now that I know the form I want the cards to be in. I don't need to uh, brainstorm that idea. I can just neaten it up, make each card for each page, 
because the important parts are when to use them. So the com the the when to conjugate cards, and that just says this information here. Uh, the Ichidan and Godan cards, there's only five of those. Um, six if I want to do another card for irregulars, because there does seem to be irregulars that pop up here and there. Uh, they, I think the game said there's like three usual ones. So three usual irregular verbs. So yeah, the when to use the forms, ichidan, godan cards, and the associated verbs, which was on like this guy. Um, yeah, I'll be writing them in Kana. Because, yeah, this was the game, the game forgot to make. Ah, yeah, so this is the card. So, yeah. For commands, you'd be like, okay, we use two. And when we got the command card, like, okay, we're doing commands. The word is taberu. And I just go, you use base. I have to figure out, uh, memorize which base it is. And the answer to that is on the back for an ichidan. Is this ichidan? Well, ichidan ends with eru or iru, which this one does. Okay. Needed to build a game. <laughs> so now that the brainstorming is done. Yeah, so when I am back in this on Tuesday, I think, yeah, Tuesday, I'll be back in this. Uh, finishing up these cards, doing some practice with this, and as I move forward, I'll start the day with these. And as we add more forms, hopefully it doesn't go on too long. If not, I can always just remake the card. I only need like... Uh, let's see here. I would use orange and green from this set. This set here. So I'd probably use orange and green. Only because they're relatively opposite colors. Um, yeah, the pink or red, I suppose that's trying to be, and the blue, I don't know. I think the Sharpie would pick up most on the orange and green. And also the pen I have on hand is blue. So I don't want to do blue on blue. Blue on red might be a bit much. All right. So that is going to be my plan next time. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to be working on a, what's it called? Gorons in Tears of the Kingdom. Because uh, I kind of want to, I think I'm able to wrap up the story. I think I have the first row of hearts done. So 
want to go wrap up figuring out what's going on with Yonobu. Uh, something about that rock roast thing. Just making all the Gorons crazy. Uh, maybe get the Master Sword. Uh, and then... I think I'll just farm out... So yeah, tomorrow I'll finish the Gorons. Get the Master Sword. Farm out the strong Zonite equipment. Get as much of that as I can. Um, maybe, yeah, I'll go ahead and take care of the Koroks as many as I can. That's a full schedule. Whatever I don't finish of that, I can wrap up on Wednesday. And maybe Friday. I'll just end the game. <laughs> yeah, so Monday. So tomorrow, Goron City. Wednesday, uh, gear up. Friday, defeat Ganon. Hopefully that's reasonable. <laughs> if not, oh well. Everything's subject to change. All right. But that ends it things today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later.